Hi everyone, in this particular video, we are going to discuss about spectrophotometric tames and Beer Lambert law. Before going to discuss this topic, you should know following points transmittance, absorbance, Beer Lambert law, molar extinction coefficient, or molar absorption coefficient. The first I am going to explain about transmittance. Suppose we have a vessel. It is filled with a solution. A beam of light is allowed to pass through the solution. When beam of light is allowed to pass through the solution, the sum of the photon might get absorbed by the solution while sum passes through it because of the absorption of photon by the solution. Intensity of transmitted light becomes less than the intensity of incident light. This is intensity of the transmitted light. Then here, uh, intensity of the incident light. That is I, I0. Let's label intensity of incident light as I0 and intensity of transmitted light as I. Let's define the transmittance. Transmittance, uh, that is the ratio of the intensity of transmitted light transmitted light that is I to the intensity of the incident light. Therefore, here uh, definition for the uh, transmitted that is the ratio of the intensity of transmitted light to the intensity of the incident light. Therefore, T uh, it will be I upon I0. Mathematically, it can be shown as like this. T is equal to I upon I0, label it as equation number 1. Generally, it is expressed in terms of percentage. Here, which is equal to 100 into transmittance. Transmittance or T uh, equal to I upon I0. Therefore, here, we can write I upon I0. Label it as equation number 2. Let's talk about absorbance. Absorbance is defined as the logarithm of the ratio of the intensity of the incident light to the intensity of the transmitted light. Intensity of the incident light that is I0 and intensity of the transmitted light that is I. If we denote the absorbance by A, then we can write the mathematical expression as. It can be labeled as equation 3. Relation between the absorbance and the uh, transmittance. We have just learned from the equation number 1 that T equal to I upon I0. It can be uh, labeled as equation number 1. It can be uh, labeled as equation number 3. So, comparing the equation number 1 and 3, we can find the relation between the absorbance and the transmittance. Equation number 4. Thus, from the equation number 4, we can calculate A uh, if T is given and vice versa. Now we can check the differences between the absorbance and the transmittance. Absorbance and transmittance, both terms are opposite to each other. Then here the definition for the transmission, that is the ratio of the intensity of transmitted light to the intensity of the incident light. Then here absorbance uh, is defined as the amount of light absorbed by the molecules of the object. Then here how the value changes as the concentration increased. Transmittance decreases exponentially. Then here absorbance increases linearly. Then graph. You have to study both the graphs then here range the value ranges from 0 to 1 and the percentage transmi uh, transmittance ranges uh, from 0 percentage to 100 percentage then here absorbance absorbance uh, takes value from 0 upwards then here equation also you have to study 
uh, the definition for the transmittance a ratio of the intensity of transmitted light to the intensity of the incident light therefore here this equation also you have to study this is very very important measurement of transmittance has many application measuring the concentration of chemicals in the solution water clarity grade of syrup testing window tint films and glass clarity uh, beer lambert law beer lambert law is a relationship between the attenuation of light through a substance and the properties of that substance uh, it is a combination of two laws uh, beer's law and the lambert's law uh, beer's law uh, it states uh, that the concentration and absorbance are directly proportional to each other. Therefore, A that is directly proportional to C. It can be labeled as equation number 5. Next is Lambert's law. It states that the absorbance and the path length directly proportional. Therefore, here it can be labeled as equation 6. Combining equation 5 and 6, we can write A that is directly proportional to C and L. After putting the proportionality constant A epsilon C L. Equation 8 is called Beer Lambert slope. This is it can be labeled as equation 7. Then here this is the Greek letter epsilon molar absorption coefficient. A that is absorbance and C is the concentration and L that is optimal or path length concentration ex expressed in mole per liter optical uh, path length expressed in centimeter we can do this problem this question is quite easy to understand calculate the molar absorptivity Therefore, here concentration is given over here. C is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 4. Then here absorbance also given over here. Uh, that is 0 0.20 and path length that is uh, 2.5 centimeter. Okay. L is equal to 2.5 centimeter. Then here uh, the, this in this equation you can substitute. Okay. Therefore, A is given over here. C also given over here, L also given over here, here, we need to calculate the molar absorptivity, okay. Therefore, here A divided by C into L, just you can substitute in this equation, you can find out the answer.